want to practice finding an inverse algebraically. So finding an inverse. Okay, let's find the inverse of f of x equals 3x minus 2. Okay, step one, f of x equals y, right? So y equals 3x minus 2. Step 2, trade x and y. Why? Well, that's what an inverse is. The tr x and the y trade places. So we'll have x equals 3y minus 2. See how all I did was simply take the y and turn it into an x, take the x, turn it into a y. The numbers stay in exactly the same places. Step 3, solve for y. Okay, so we want to get y by itself. We're going to add the 2, so x plus 2 equals 3y. Then divide everything by 3, so x plus 2 divided by 3 equals y. Or the inverse function, I'm not putting my f of x back in, right? Step 4, f of negative 1 of x equals the y value now, right? So I'm replacing this with this. So my function is x plus 2 over 3. Or if you wanted to write it as a linear function, you could think of it as 1 third x plus 2 thirds, because then you've got your slope and your y-intercept in case you wanted to graph that. Okay? So this is the inverse of this. And if we graph them on the same graph, they should be symmetric across the axis. Let's do a harder one. Find the inverse. of f of x equals x over 2x plus 1. Same exact steps, let's trade the x and y. Instead of actually writing this out with the y, I'm just going to realize that's y. I'm now trading it with an x. This is x, and now trading it with a y. I wouldn't suggest using your f of x stuff in here. That will make it too clunky for now. Okay, so now we're trying to solve for y, but we have two y's in two places here. This looks a little tricky. It's not as bad as it looks, though. If you go ahead and um, cross multiply, so I've put my x over 1 to remind me that that's a fraction, and then I'm going to cross multiply. When you cross multiply, you do top and bottom of one set, top and bottom of the other set, and set them equal to each other. So this will be x times 2y plus 1 equals y. All right, so then we get 2xy plus x equals y, because I distributed this. Now I want to get the y's together on one side. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract this over here and move that over there. So I want this here and this here, okay? So 2xy minus y equals x. Now we can factor out the y, 2x minus 1 equals x, and then divide.